NASA is not only exploring space, they're also fighting fires down here on Earth. So when wildfires burned through parts of LA County earlier this year, mm -hmm. NASA, NASA sped, sped up. up testing of its new firefighting technology. Fox's Sarah Allegra is live for us in Pasadena, California, with more on the space agency's work. Sarah. Caroline, I'm just outside of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It's the home of where a lot of this technology is being developed. Now, ironically, the hills just behind this lab were burned during the Eaton Fire in January. Those flames were spreading quickly. The smoke was thick, and people were forced out of this area in a hurry. Now, NASA's trying to change all that really across the country. Some of their most recent efforts happening in Alabama. Fires spread fast, but now NASA's helping crews move faster. Their new tool is already in the air from the southern forests to the California foothills. Real time eyes in the sky capturing what crews on the ground can't always see. Because we were in the plane with a real time product that could tell the first responders where is the fire, how hot is it, they were using that information to deploy their resources and actually save some structures. The sensor is called Avarice 3. Dr. Robert Green is the NASA scientist who leads the team behind it. He spent decades studying the Earth from above. Avarice 3 is a hyperspectral camera. It can spot flames, heat, even gases around the clock. We can fly day or night. We can see through smoke to a very large degree. It generates detailed maps of hot spots and fire lines. So this is just 2,400 nanometers. And quickly gets the info to crews. The data are collected by the sensor and it's uplinked to a, a Starlink satellite and then beamed down to uh, uh, fire crews within a matter of minutes. The tech is a joint effort between NASA and Homeland Security. Years in the making, now moving out of testing and into action. The Eaton Fire in L.A. County gave crews a first look at its potential. We did fly after the Eaton Fire and mapped the burn severity. And that information was used by first responders to make decisions about hazards and how they might want to deploy people in terms of cleaning up immediately after the fire. And NASA hopes even more states can soon get the same support. To be responsive to fires, which I'm even learning, are occurring in many other places I didn't expect, in Florida, in Alabama, in Tennessee, in Georgia. Yeah, and NASA is also working on developing another system that would allow ground crews to fly drones and other unmanned aircrafts during low visibility. So that could be during night or when there's some thick smoke as well. And that's a big deal because right now we don't really have that technology. Usually when the sun goes down, firefighting efforts, at least from the sky, well, that stops too. In Pasadena, California, Sarah Allegre, Fox 26 News. All right, Sarah, thank you so much.